Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am also fine. Today I'm going to show you how you can deploy your Vue.js app into AWS. If I spell it correctly, Vue.js. So uh, Vue.js, it's it's a JS-based JavaScript-based framework. So you can use it to build up uh, awesome apps. And then if you wanted to need to deploy it in AWS, there is a very quick and easy way I'm going to show you. So first I'm going to create a sample application in Vue.js. So let me just copy this npm init full latest. So I'm going to uh, set up a sample application in my local. This will ask me a few questions. I will answer those questions. Basically, what is the project name? Do you want to integrate some unit testing? Do you want to integrate some integration testings, automated testings, all sort of things? So pretty easy. You can either answer those or keep the default and skip to the next. Okay, so it's taking some time. It happens because, yeah. Here it is. So the project name is, I give the project name, uh, JS deployment AWS. Okay, package name, okay. TypeScript, yes, I wanted to add TypeScript. JSX support, yeah, I wanted to add JSX. Woo router for a single page application development, yes. Piano for state management, yes. By test, it's a testing framework. Yes. End to end testing, Cypress is good. Yes, lane. Yeah. Pretty for code formatting. Yes. So that's it. We have created a sample Vue.js application. So let's go to CT. Sorry, Vue.js uh, application. And here we see all sorts of files here. Now, what I'm going to do is create a Git repo. And uh, check out the Git repo by local. JS deployment AWS. So uh, it will create a Git repo. And I'm going to check out that Git repo into my local. So just copy the SSH key. And then uh, what I'm going to do is Git clone. Here I am using SSH keys and I have multiple keys. So what I have to do is copy the access key ID and use it into the checkout process. Because I have many, many accounts and uh, so it is very useful to use SSH keys. And I put dot because I want to check out it in the local directory. Uh, okay. So let's then remove the dot and what will happen? It will create a folder and then um, oh, sorry, this is the access key. So it was my mistake. No harm done. So I probably have to delete this access key because it is being exposed. Let me do that immediately. So just make it inactive. Now you cannot use it. Even if you know, you cannot use it. Uh -huh. Okay, so it says that you have and empty repository, that's okay. What actually I have to do is uh, go here, uh, go here and just copy this git repository. Uh, sorry, git folder and paste it here, that's it. And then I'm going to delete that. Okay, now I'm going to uh, this thing and open the VS Code editor. So let me drag it to the right. 
Okay, so I trust this author, yeah. And then these are all the files that has been created by the init program of Moses. So here it is, git ignore, all those things here, it's all there. Here it is, uh, Cypress config and all those things. If I see there are 38 files has been changed, so let's make a commit. Initial commit. And I'm going to push it. Push. So, push is done. I'm going to go to my repository. I will see all my codes here. Yeah, here it is. Now I have all my codes in my repo. So these are the commands if you wanted to run it local. I wanted to deploy in uh, AWS. So there are multiple options available and I'm going to use AWS Amplify. So let's go Amplify and uh, create a new project. So Amplify is an AWS service, managed service to host Vue.js applications. Not, not only Vue.js, but like React, Angular, Next.js, all those things. So let's get started. We are going to choose Amplify Hosting because we want to host our applications, not Amplify Studio. So get clear. We will code commit, continue. Then I'm going to choose Vue.js project deployment to AWS, choose the branch. If I have multiple branches, I need to choose the correct branch, but I only have master, so that's okay. Connecting to a Moro repo. If you choose this, that means the project is inside a subfolder. Sometimes what happens is that your project is inside a subfolder. So Moro repo is like all your applications are inside one repo, and then they are inside a subfolders but I'm not in a mono repo, I'm in a poly repo. So poly repo is like every project has its own repository and the files are in the project root. So this is the project root and all the files are there. But let's see if I have a folder like uh, JS, and if my all those codes are here, then it should be, I have to choose mono repo. Anyway, let's go to the next. So that is just a background explanation. What is and What is polyrepo? So uh, check this thing. And here you can add something by clicking edit because let's say you wanted to do unit testing. So how do you do that unit testing? You can do unit testing with, uh, I hope, npm run test, probably npm run test. That should do the job. So you have to add the npm run test here after the npm build. But this is a simple project. I don't have any unit testing, so let's skip this part. I keep it as it is, but you can add more complex things here. That's the point. IAM role, I'm going to create a new one, but if you have already some existing IAM roles, you can use the existing ones. So like here, I will show the existing ones. You can choose the existing one as well. It's up to you. So let's review repository details, all those things. It has automatically detected Vojas, right? So I haven't told them that this is Vue.js, but they have somehow detected with Vue.js. Kind of smart. So let's save and deploy. It will take some time. So don't be impatient. So just grab a coffee or tea and uh, have a break for 10 minutes or so. And come back here after 10 minutes. You will see that if everything is okay, you will see green icons here. <clears throat> okay so i am back i think it took some time but it's successfully completed all are green this is the temporary url which you can click and this will open the application into this temporary URL. it's something weird master blah 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 you can actually link your domain into this uh into this page i can do that right now so let's go to Domain management and add a domain like uh, article.xyz. This is my domain, right? Configure domain. So uh, exclude root. 
and type in who dot article dot xyz and save. <coughs> so now I can actually link this domain into my actual this website rather than this weird numbers, etc. But basically, you see the application is up and running. So it is your sample Vue.js applications. I just wanted to point my uh, domain into here. So let's copy these records. Okay, just a moment. I pause this for a moment for DNS changes. Okay, what I have to do is I need to add this record into my DNS. So my DNS is being managed by Cloudflare. <clears throat> it should be CNAME and paste it here. And then copy this value. Okay. Proxy is not. So let's, let's CNAME is added. Okay. And then uh <clears throat> Once you added the CNAME, I need to add this CNAME for the DNS. VUE, right? If I speak VUE, okay. So uh, I have made those DNS changes. It might take some time. So just wait for a few more minutes. Okay, you see SSL creation is done. SSL configuration is done. Now domain activation. Now it might take some time. Let me just verify whether it is still working or not. Okay. Yeah, it is still being deployed, so it might take some time. Let's just wait for a few more minutes. If you see this weird place, don't get afraid because yeah, it is not deployed yet. So you see all those things. Don't get scared. All will be okay. When this is also green, you should be able to view this page. I, I go to a different browser and let's see what happens here. Yeah, here it is. So now my uh, OZS app is linked with my domain or subdomain and there is the basic application. If I made some changes here, if I push it, it will be reflected here as well. So that's a deployment pipeline. And you can view the pipeline into going to the Amplify. If you make some changes, you will see that provision is happening. Deployment is and build is done and then deploy. It takes some time, but it should be easy. Okay. So I hope this helps you to get started with VueJS in AWS. You can deploy your uh, VueJS projects into AWS very easily. It's easy, quick. Just click off a few buttons and then all is done. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to um, initiate a training program soon for people who want to learn AWS, which will be a Zoom meeting. If anyone is interested, just put, uh, put your comment below this video so I can contact you. And you can also email me. My email address is uh, i at atikur.xyz. So thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.